Hey, howdy, hey, how is everybody doing? And welcome back to Disney Daily. Jack-Jack is adorable, funny, and crazy powerful. But could he perhaps be the most powerful superhero in Metroville? In today's video, we are focusing on Jack-Jack's superpowers as compared to other supers and answering the question if he could be in fact the most powerful and invincible of them all. Now in Incredibles 1, there is no signs that Jack-Jack has powers until the very end when he turns into a demon to escape from syndrome. But nobody in his family witnesses these powers, they think he's normal. Which is greatly illustrated when Violet makes the comment that Jack-Jack is the only normal one in the family and he isn't even toilet trained. However, in The Incredibles 2, we learn after Jack-Jack takes on a ferocious raccoon that not only does he have powers, he has 17 different powers that require a suit built by Edna to better control him and keep a tab on his whereabouts. Now, compared to his family, Jack-Jack's abilities way surpass every one of his family members who really only have one designated power. Violet's invisibility, Dash's speed, Mr. Incredible's strength, and Mrs. Incredible's flexibility. But when it comes to Jack-Jack, he is an anomaly. To better answer the question if Jack-Jack could in fact be the most powerful superhero, I turn to the official record of past superheroes. This information comes from the National Supers Agency, which is a huge database containing all the information of each super. It includes the superhero's powers, but also when the superheroes noticed they had powers. Additionally, it measures the superhero's abilities in six categories, power type, strength, endurance, intelligence, agility, and indestructibility. And to be fair, some of these cannot be measured on Jack-Jack yet because he is still a baby, so we are only really looking at his overall power type. As it turns out, there has been numerous superheroes with multiple powers, but are they more powerful than Jack-Jack? After listening to all the different supers, the only two who seemed to compare to Jack-Jack was Mr. Incredible himself and Metaman, which both had three of the six categories at maximum. But as I dug deeper, I realized that Mr. Incredible did not have as many powers and therefore wasn't a good subject to measure against Jack-Jack. Now, Meta Man had a multitude of powers from flight to x-ray vision to teleportation. However, as compared to Jack-Jack, he only has eight powers total. And while those eight might be pretty powerful, I argue that so could Jack-Jack 17. Additionally, not only does Jack-Jack have more powers, but these powers are surely to progress as he becomes an adult. To put it simply, Jack-Jack has not hit his full potential yet. He's just getting started and imagine what he is going to look like when he's actually able to train. Which, by the way, Incredibles 3, which I believe there will be a third movie, will focus on Jack-Jack as an adult, but that's another video for another time. I think it is overall safe to say that he will be the most powerful superhero and will accomplish big things. But what do you guys think? Do you agree with my theory that Jack-Jack is the most powerful superhero? Or do you think somebody else could potentially be more powerful than him? Let me know in the comments below. As always, thanks for being my guest here at Disney Daily. Until next time.